Are you thinking about switching to Linux but don't know which distro to choose? With so many options, it can be confusing to pick the right one. In this video, I'll be ranking some of the most popular Linux distros for beginners using this tier list. Excellent. The best choices for beginners, easy to install and work out of the box. Very good. Beginner friendly but might require a bit of learning. Good. Usable for beginners but has some challenges. Decent. Can be used by beginners but isn't the easiest option. Not. Recommended. Too complex or technical for beginners. Avoid. Definitely not for beginners. Let's get started. If you want to know everything about Linux and tech in general, hit that subscribe button and take a look to the other videos in the channel. First up, we have Kali Linux. This distro is famous for cybersecurity and penetration testing, but it's not designed for everyday use. It lacks many basic features that a beginner would need and comes with default settings that aren't secure for regular use. That's why Kali Linux goes in the not recommended tier. Next is Arch Linux. Arch is all about customization and control, but it's not beginner friendly at all. You have to install everything manually, which can be a challenge for new users. If you want to learn Linux from the ground up, it's great. But if you just want a working system, Arch is not the way to go. This one belongs in the avoid tier. Now, let's talk about Fedora. A modern and secure distro backed by Red Hat, Fedora is great for developers and professionals. However, because it updates frequently, things can sometimes break. It's not as stable as Mint for long-term use and beginners might find the updates a bit overwhelming. That's why Fedora goes in the good tier. Moving on to Linux Mint. If you're coming from Windows, this is one of the easiest distros to start with. It has a familiar interface, comes with everything you need and works out of the box. Since it's based on Ubuntu, it has great support and stability. If you want a smooth Linux experience without complications, Linux Mint is the way to go. This one goes in the excellent tier. Now let's discuss Manjaro. While designed to be a more user-friendly take on Arch Linux, it still requires a learning curve that can be frustrating for beginners. Its rolling release model means updates can sometimes break things and troubleshooting issues might be difficult for new users. For that reason, Manjaro goes in the not recommended tier. Next is Debian. Known for its rock solid stability, Debian is a reliable choice but it's not as beginner friendly as Ubuntu or Mint. Its installation and setup can be a bit more technical and it lacks some of the ease of use features that new users might expect. For that reason, Debian goes in the not re Now, let's talk about Ubuntu, one of the most popular Linux distributions. It's well supported, easy to install and gets regular updates. Software compatibility is excellent, though its default Jim Desktop might feel a bit unfamiliar to Windows users. But overall, Ubuntu is a solid choice for beginners, so it goes in the excellent tier. Next, we have OpenSUSE. This distro is powerful and has great system management tools, but it's more suited for advanced users and IT professionals. Beginners might find it a bit complicated compared to Ubuntu-based distros. For that reason, OpenSUSE goes in the decent tier. Another one to mention here is Endeavor OS. It's a beginner-friendly take on Arch, but it's still complex and requires manual setup. Not recommended tier. Finally, let's talk about Zorin OS. This distro is designed for Windows users with a clean and polished interface that looks familiar. It's lightweight, fast, and has an easy setup. However, some advanced features are locked behind a paid version. Even so, it's still a great beginner-friendly option, so it belongs in the very good tier. So, what's the best Linux distro for beginners? If you want something simple and hassle-free, go with Linux Mint or Ubuntu. If you want more control, but still need an easy setup, Zorin OS is a great choice. But if you're a beginner, avoid Kali Linux, Arch Linux, Manjaro, Debian, and Endeavor OS unless you have a specific reason to use them. What's your favorite Linux distro? Let me know in the comments.